All right, we're just going to be getting a couple of little extra settings here ready just to start our little stream for tonight. And let me go ahead and copy the link. And good afternoon, everybody. We'll be with you in a bit. Let's see. And, um, a ver, here, and paste it. Okay, so, welcome everybody to an another stream here with Raul for, from the Mexico Extremo team. Uh, bienvenidos a todos eh, a la, para un nuevo stream. Aquí es del nuevo mapa de Chihuahua en Mexico Extremo. Eh, este stream va a ser en, en inglés, ya que la mayoría de los que hemos estado haciendo han sido todos en, en español. So, if you don't mind me, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to English. Um, just because all the previous streams have pretty much all been in Spanish, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to English today. So, welcome everybody. Um, so, today, uh, we're getting, you know, we're, we're doing the last couple of, of little details to be able to release a new, uh, a, a new release of the Chihuahua map. And really... The last last month we released this part right here, the southern part. This month, um, Eblem has been working real hard on this stretch right here, which has been a bit more of a hassle than we thought it would. That and a lot of uh, bug fixing as well. So it's it's not just been just this, but this is a very beautiful stretch, a bit of a long one, but um, this this whole area right here is just a ton of mountains and really beautiful landscapes, a lot like the Sierra Nevada map, but probably. Probably more of that. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and take a, um, a trailer from Hermosillo in Sonora and take it over to Bocoina. Now, the towns are actually called a little different, but there's two towns in the same area. And we just called it after the, the county or the, or the municipality is the correct term. And it's, it's very pretty. I'm sure you guys are going to like it. So let's go ahead and do that. And just uh, give a couple of shout outs here. And ooh, that is a little loud there. It's raining. Let's see, can I actually... Hmm, the rain's actually kind of cool, but let's see if I can lower the volume on that rain real quick. Um, let's see, and just to give some shout-outs here, Trucker, Truck Gamer and Sam B, welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome. So I think it would be this, world sounds, or actually it would be ambient sounds. I don't know, we'll try that. So I actually wanted to, to continue to rain, that'd be kind of cool. Um, just to, just to have it a little bit different, right? Yeah, I would think it's it's ambient sounds, I suppose. Timothy Rogers, what's up? Welcome. Let's do let's see that helps a little bit. I can still kind of hear it. Well, that helps a little bit. The truck isn't too loud though, but. Hey, it's gonna become day in a bit. Hopefully, it'll stop raining, so we'll we'll go with that. Um, and we'll change this. Well, yeah, let's just get rid of it. No, not that. There we go. All right. So right now, I don't have the volume very up. Um, but if you guys like me to make the the truck sounds a little louder, let me know. We'll go ahead and get that fixed. I normally drive a... Why can't I move? Huh, that's odd. Hold up. I wonder why I'm stuck. Okay. There, now I'm moving. Okay. All right. So anyway, so this is the city of Hermosillo. Now, now this is uh, part of the old Viva Mexico map. So, um, pardon me if it doesn't look that great, but we'll soon be getting out of this area. And I think maybe I should make make it a little a little sooner in time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How oh, mine gas? I need some gas. I feel everything is so slow. Why is that? Well, okay. Maybe it's just me. 
Bernardo Reyes, hey, uh, he says, Ciudad Cuauhtémoc will be in the next beta. So, I'm not sure if it will, but um, common sense would say yes. And turn off the truck and we fill her up. Okay. Um, so, Ciudad Cuauhtémoc, for those of you that don't, aren't too aware, um, is a little bit east of the area where we're going to be uh, driving today. So, that, you know, it, it would make a ton of sense to have that ASAP. Oh, it's Primera. Okay. There we go. Okay, so Truck Gamer says, will they prefab the Chihuahua food market or will they use one from the base map? Now, by the food market, do you mean El Mercado? Because if so, no, we will probably end up just... Use, I'm not even sure if we'll add that into that. Um, or we might just end up using um, an existing model. And if it's not the Mercado that you're talking about, um, let me know what you what you mean, because I don't... I don't know what you mean, to be honest. I feel my truck sounds aren't correctly set up either. I thought I had one of those mods. Okay. And this right here is the start of the Mexico Extremo area. Now, I am supposed to be looking for bugs. I have driven this section before, and we've done a lot of cleaning up in this section already. Um, but if you do see... Whoa! Ballsy. But if you do see um, any bug that I'm not seeing, please let me know, and I will take care of that. And maybe I should change the game as well to reflect kilometers. I usually do not like playing with um, with miles here um, is it this one no it is gameplay actually my bed um, where's English no miles I want kilometers yes kilometers are better I'm afraid so sorry I see we have a couple of other people. Welcome everybody to the stream. A los que están uh, uh, entrando al stream, bienvenido. El stream va a ser en inglés ya que la mayoría los últimos han sido todos en inglés, así que pues pero no han sido en español, así que vamos a hacer uno en inglés. Yeah, uh, Sam B, the the license plates we do have an issue with that right now. It's something that we were I mentioned in our Discord that we were having some technical difficulties. Um, one of them was that, that we can't seem to figure out why that's the case. And there might be co something conflicting um, that was that was brought up in 1.37. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure. So Eblem is going to look into that. Um, I wouldn't like to have that delay the release, though, unless you guys would rather it be perfect and not have that issue. Um, but... It, so it, we're we're definitely aware of it. Roberto Lucha dice, saludo Raúl, perdona el comentario. No, no te preocupes, Roberto, se entiende perfectamente. Eh, Será el último. Me quedé gusto ver el directo. ¿Cuál es el motivo del stream? Um, so he's asking what the what's the reason for the stream. Um, ya estamos próximos a lanzar esta actualización. Esperamos ya. Si se puede, el, eh, mañana o el sábado, si ya se tiene esa idea. Um, ya está prácticamente todo listo para lanzar. So, esa es la razón. And just to respond in English, the um, reason why we're doing the stream again is because we are planning to make a release for all of our uh, donors to the project uh, on um, either tomorrow or at most by Saturday, I believe. Unless something big comes up, but, but for the most part, I think we should be okay. The one thing we did notice is that there there does seem to be some conflicting stuff um, regarding PAS mod. Um, and I haven't mentioned the reason why that might be the case. What was it? It was... It, it had to do with... I think that he fixed something. 
but then that caused problems on the Mexico map, on, on Viva Mexico. So we might have to get something done on his side. Uh, we'll let him know, I think, you know, later tonight. Or I mean, he's, he lives in Europe, so um, he won't be able to respond until our, at least our morning, right? <laughs> For the folks out in, in the United States. Now, I did see somebody in the Discord comment that they were going to stay up until 3 a.m. Because they're out in, in, in Europe and they wanted to watch the stream. So if you are here, shout outs to you, man. Oh, wow. This guy. Yep, totally feels Mex like Mexico. All right. Well, now that now that it stopped raining, I really like how that sounds. If it gets too loud, please let me know, and I'll close the windows again. When I play normally, I play with the headphones on, and the music really loudly sorry not the music that the sound I got really like blasting it I feel I just need that VR headset which I have been told is really worth it who here's this sign you should really get gas now I have my truck has a, a big tank so I shouldn't have a problem and I just filled up no, just a couple of minutes ago so I should be fine Monster, you're going too slow. You overtook me, and now you're going too slow, dude. It's a Prius. Maybe we need to scoot that that sign, because you can see the sign that's gonna make him speed up. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm running the, the bass sounds. I think I messed up something on my mods. I, I normally don't... I normally run Robinicus um, engine sounds. Let's see. Sam B says, I remember... Oh, uh, hold on. Let me get past this turn. Says, I, I remember a Blem said that somebody's rebuilding at Mosillo. Is that still going on? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Um, but it, it is a bit of a separate project from ours, but they are still working on that. Um, unless I'm thinking of Lol Smurf. He was working on, on Nogales, and he was... I think he said he wanted to eventually work on MLCU. I'm, I'm not sure. But no, there's definitely work, work being done on, on the Sonora side of things. See, lots of co comments came in at the same time. So, Molina el Oficial, saludos. Saludos desde Reynosa, Tamaulipas. My box says, uh, well, I'm going to translate what he says. He says, I play with the VR headset, and he says it's completely worth it. Only bad thing is that um, it's easy to get sick um, with all when you're going really fast and when there's a lot of curves. That makes sense. Si tiene sentido, mi boc. Si me han comentado eso. Si he jugado con VR headsets y si aguante. Si aguante y por eso es como a tarde temprano. I really wanted to buy myself eventually like a used Rift S. I remember a couple months ago I would see them like at 200 bucks. Now, they got expensive because um, uh, Oculus is currently has their plants shut down because of COVID-19, and they're not supporting them. So anybody that does have them, they're reselling them at a high prices. So that sucks. Uh, 200, uh, like yeah, maybe so. Maybe it would have been worth it. Uh, one thing I could say is that we're saving so much money on, um, on you know, we're not going out, we ain't doing much. We're staying indoors for the most part, saving a lot of money. So maybe maybe that VR headset would have been right. I could trade out uh, outdoors for for VR headset, right? Si uh, Roberto Lucha dice uh, una pregunta, la PC donde juega que dos letras, chao, sale más rentable comprar una PC gamer. Mira Roberto, antes decían mucho eso. Um, ahorita ya casi no veo diferencia de precios, eh. Um, sobre todo si compras en Amazon 
eh, tienen muy buenos precios eh, prácticamente el mismo precio a que si lo compras en Estados Unidos una cosa que muchos no se ponen a pensar es de que eh, en Estados Unidos los precios no incluyen IVA o el impuesto y en México sí lo incluyen entonces, si tú comparas el precio del IVA y toda la cosa, realmente los precios de México están igual que en Estados Unidos. These guys are going a little slow. And it's not that the speed limit is slow, it's just... This is a bit of a... Well... It's not too steep, but... Well, I guess it's steep for these guys. Mi Bok dice, pero no tanto como otros juegos, obviamente juegos no tienen misión de otro. Fumbling with my gears here. Yeah, Sam, so I know he's doing Nogales. I just, I, I don't know why I had the faint idea that he was also working on, or he wanted to work on Hermosillo, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Wagner Sulu, um, shout outs to you, my friend. Thank you very much for the, for, for the congratulations. Shout outs to Brazil. Obrigado. Ah, quiero rebasarlos. I want to I wanna overtake these guys. Uh, Roberto Lucha says about eBay. Sabes, de eBay no estoy muy seguro. Yo nunca he comprado cosas en eBay, eh? Leonardo Santos, saludos. Pregunta que hacia dónde voy. Um, he's asking where I'm going. We are currently here. Let me, since now there's a lot of people here. So we're taking a, a trip from Hermosillo to Bocoina. Now, for those of you that know Chihuahua, Bocoina es el municipio de Bocoina. It's the municipality. Um, es una combinación entre los pueblos de San Juan y, um, y Cril. So it's Cril and, and San Juanito, the towns. But we just called it Bocoina. Alejandro Neira, saludos, bienvenido al stream. Este, Eblen fue a cenar. Dijo que ahorita regresa. Ok, guys, I think we, we need to get this going. So we're going to overtake this bus. Um, if the power allows me. I must tap into the power within. Wow, I also feel I'm going slow. What the crap? Oh, uh, you know what, guys? I think I know what may be the issue. I have... Oh, God. Could it be the engine noises? Because they, they have their own engine mod. Could that be what's causing me to be slow? Can I check that? Like what my trucks have? Oh, no, I, need, I would need to go to the nearest. Oh. Can I see what my truck has? Like I want to see what engine it has. Yeah, I would need it. It would. Oh, darn. Oh, 300. Oh, yeah, that is low. I had a much more powerful engine. What the? All right, guys. You know, the the sound. I don't like the sound. I'm sorry to the guys from SES, but I prefer other people's sounds. Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. And um, and in the meantime, we'll um, we'll read some comments. So vamos a cambiar algo en el en el motor que me falló. So, vamos a ver. Let's take a look. You get to see what the what mods I'm running. Um, I do have it run. So then, why do I not? Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I just gotta go. Oh, I know why. Oh, jeez. When when I had when we were trying to fix a problem that we had with with some of the mods before we started the stream, and I had to take out the the sound mod, and that may be what's breaking this. So, let's um, let's visit. Oh, 
All right. Well, where's the nearest? Um... Well, first of all, I'm right here. Okay. So we'll just go right there. Okay. We'll do a little cheat. All right. Let's take a look at some of the comments. What are your thoughts on the new Boise blog? Ooh, great question. So I liked it. Uh, I took a good look at the at the screenshots they posted. There are a few details when it comes to roads that you know I could I could say oh they got to improve on. Like for example, is that yeah it's just the roof. Like for example, they seem to miss out sometimes on. Uh, the fact that bridges in the United States will usually always have a concrete texture. So, this. And I feel they missed that. The first picture they showed, for example, is the one that has... It's like the where the, where the freeway, I think it's 182, um, enters downtown Boise. Which, by the way, I think it's awesome that you could drive into downtown. That's good stuff. Um, let me see. Let me just... There we go. These are the ones that I had. And I think it was... So I don't think it was this one. Um, okay, confirm order. Now we should have the power! Okay. Um, let's go back more or less to where I was. Oh, 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 boy! Where the heck? Oh, there it is. Te Coripa. Had I gone into Te Coripa? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is where I'm at right now. Ha <laughs> Well, let's just... Okay, and then I'm going the wrong way, too. That's funny. Sorry about this, guys. Technical problems. It's the good stuff. Okay, there's where I'm supposed to be going. So I was pretty much right here. Okay. And this should sound so much better. Ah, yes. Hear that power. Now I've got the power. So, yeah, I mean, Boise looks pretty good. When, when it comes to the actual, you know, the buildings they use, the way they decorate things, I think it's fantastic. Uh, they're, they're real good artists. They're really good 3D artists. It's just the finer details that I think they miss out on sometimes. And to be fair, I was recently playing in, in Utah, right? And by recently, I mean, I think it was on Sunday. And... Um, I really enjoyed my time. I just had the, the... I had the headphones on, really loud. I just... I don't know. The, the radio on. It was so... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I felt so um, immersed in the world that, that you kind of just forget of those details. And I, just, I was like, whatever. Maybe it's because I've never really been to a lot of those parts in Utah. I've only been in the southern parts of Utah. Um, uh, this is probably a little loud for you guys. Uh, but I felt it was pretty good, and I, and, and I and I think um, Idaho is gonna look pretty good. Now there were a couple details that um, Emblem did bring up to to them when um, when it came to the stuff that Idaho that they were releasing for Idaho. Um, again, it's mostly like smaller details, and I think. For most of them, I could kind of, you know, like, dismiss it. Some of them that Eblem did bring up, I'm like, okay, no, that he's right. And they should have done this differently. But, you know, for the most part, it looks good. And the pictures from Boise look good. But I've never been to Boise. So, and I think that's the problem with this. At this point, I think SES is mostly good enough when it comes to their cities that, for the most part, People that have never been to the city that they're that they're releasing won't notice that there's a problem. The only detail is maybe when it comes to freeway driving, us in the United States, we know that cities, like driving in freeways in the cities, 
um, is an experience that you don't see as much in, in many European countries, I think. Um, but I feel, for example, Salt Lake City, they did a pretty good job with it. Um, the, the, the freeway driving, I mean. I thought it was pretty good. So who knows? We'll see. Uh, let's take a look at some more comments. So Roberto Lucha dice, Oye, Eblem se ha vuelto bastante veloz a la hora de mapear. Yeah, he's gotten extremely fast. Very, very, very fast. Um, he works on this a lot. And he's just been able to refine... Ooh, hear that. He's been able to refine his tactics a lot. Alright, we gotta overtake this guy. I'm sorry. Hopefully I don't crash and die. Now I'm going too fast. Oh, you know what? There could be another issue here. I think I had it set to higher traffic. Okay. This is where the fun begins, boys. Daniel Dressel, welcome to the stream, man. And thank you very much. Now, we don't got a very long trailer today. So this will definitely not be not bad, but I've driven this with the... Wait, I should probably do it this way. Um, I've driven this with the, with the longer trailer, and you could definitely do it, so I wouldn't worry about it in that regard. Uh, this initial section I've already driven, so not much going on here. Let's see, Sam B says this Idaho discussion. A lot of people and kind of it looks good. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That's definitely good, and I agree. I think it looks pretty good. Just just the minor details. Maybe I should have gone in and said those. I was working all day. I only stopped working about an hour and a half ago. really just let the engine sound here. And I don't even have the engine brake on. It just sounds great. in these kinds of um, these kinds of areas it's uh, I just go quiet sometimes because I'm just taking it in the, the, the views yeah I, I gotta play with the VR headset someday man let's see oh I shouldn't no wrong button I always forget my buttons there we go Roberto Lucha dice, ¿Qué te pareció el gameplay que subió a CS Idaho? You know what? He, he, so he's asking the the video, uh, uh, what I thought of the video that SES showed of um, Idaho gameplay. I don't remember it enough to really say much. No, no, re, no lo recuerdo lo suficientemente bien como para criticarlo. Eblem lo criticó bastante. Te la pongo de esa forma. I don't see when I initially saw it I was like yeah it's okay it's good I, I, I think I think it was nice but then you start looking at some details and let's yeah okay I could see that and then Eblem started looking at the places in real life and that's when he started catching you know details here and there and he actually he actually felt kind of bad about that because he realized that the way he worded worded what he said did sound a little douchebaggy and he, th he really didn't mean it that way. It's El Puente del Yaqui. It's a big river here. It 
Something I wish SCS would do is the bridge expansion joints. The little bumps. It should really do it. It's a great little detail. Could be a little bit of a hassle to do. Because there's not like an automatic way to do it. You you have to do it manually. But I think it's totally worth it. I miss them whenever I drive in places where you don't have them. Alright, I need to overtake this guy. But I don't know if I'll be able to. And tell me guys, does this look pretty deserty to you? Does this look like a desert to you? Or do you feel this isn't a desert? What are your thoughts? I'm not gonna say what I think. Just just let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Is this a desert? A lot of people I know are tired of the American deserts. Now we've had Oregon, we've had um we've had Washington. Idaho looks like it won't really have much of a desert, but even I um Oregon and, and Washington State have a couple of, of like desert spots. I personally don't mind deserts. I really like deserts. I live in a desert in real life. Um, but I do wonder, like, what, what do you guys think of this kind of landscape? Because to me, this doesn't look like a, like so much of a desert. But I think it, te it technically would be called a semi-desert. I'm sure the weather would probably make it that way. Let's see, Timothy Rogers says, should do a bridge rework mod, Raul, if SES would do it. Oof, that would take a long time. I'm, I, I should have done it you know, on all the mods that we have. I don't even think I've done it in other work. I think the Sierra Nevada map, map, I did it on all the bridges. I'm not sure if I did it on all bridges in Mexico Strambo. I know I wanted to, but I, but I don't think I have. See, Roberto Lucha says, if I saw the PS5 launch, um, I did not. No, no vi, no vi el, el show del PS5. Vi las noticias a ver qué sacaron, a ver qué anunciaron. Qué lástima que no anunciaron el precio. Uh, pero no, no, no vi la presentación. I, I just find it odd that they didn't, they didn't take, talk about the price when it came to the PS5. I would have liked to know, but it sounds like it's going to be an expensive machine. Looks cool, though. Alejandro, y el bug ese ni siquiera era un bug de verdad, era como algo que, te, que deberíamos arreglar, pero no pasaría nada si lo lanzamos sin él. Should I just overtake him? Yes, let's just do it. We ain't got all day. Meatbox says, no conozco la vida real por donde estás manejando, pero soy de Chihuahua y si sí se parece bastante el paisaje. Perfect. Ahora, esto es de hecho sonora. Pero sí, sí me imagino que se parece a algunas partes. 
Sam B says, I wish I could play more ATS, but I have to deal with silent game crashes, which is really annoying. What is your game crash? Do, do you know? Like, is it certain mods that you're trying to run, or what's going on? That shouldn't be the case. Creo que ya casi subimos esta subida. I think we're almost up to, up to this, this, up this grade here. There's a lot of up and down in this road. But contrary to some of the other roads that Emblem has done in, in this area, this one isn't that extreme in terms of like crazy, crazy turns and all that stuff. It's it's actually kind of mild. It's very cool though. But the nice thing about it is you don't have to go that slow. We're actually averaging about 35 to 40 miles an hour, which isn't too bad, all things considered. But it is a long one though. Sí, Roberto, esto, esto de hecho es el estado de Sonora. O sea, la, la carretera va hacia Chihuahua. Y de hecho, la mitad del trayecto que vamos a manejar es en Chihuahua. Pero esta parte es en Sonora. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jake Brake and Engine Brake are the same thing, right? Uh oh. Wrong button. Tried to toggle off a of Jake Brake. I don't know if you had the eyes to take a look at that, but I did see a floating terrain there, so... And it was off to the side of the road. It wasn't really that bad, but... But it's there. Okay, Timothy, th thanks for confirming that. So, Jake Brake is the same as the engine brake. Somebody is overtaking me. The balls. Not like I don't, right? Taking this a little too fast. Sam B says, it happens on both my vanilla and my modern profiles, but I try to reinstall it. Okay. Yeah, then it, that, you might be right. You might just need that to reinstall your game. That's weird. I remember having a problem um, probably over a year now, and I did have to reinstall my game. After that, it you know, pretty much fixed all my issues. I don't really know what it was. Oh, I think it was sound. The, the sound just never came back. Um, and it was after I had removed, um, what are the sound mods that I have? The drive safely one, I think it's called. Um, and when I removed it, my game just never recovered its sound. I had to reinstall the whole game. It's weird. See here, I think I'm going fast, and then I have people behind me. Uh, 
uh, Timothy says, Jake brake is more of a trucking term. Okay. That's probably why, I mean, no, I know what the engine brake is. I keep hearing people calling it the Jake brake, so I was like, are they the same thing? But because, I mean, I'm not a trucker, so I, I would always just use the term engine brake. And even then, people that, you know, most normal people don't even probably use that term because a lot of people probably don't even know what engine braking is. I'd be surprised. A lot of, oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a bad one. But okay, we'll just delete that from the final clip and we'll just edit it out. That's fine. You guys saw nothing, right? I was going to say, like, um, most people that I've talked with, you know, the, I live in a big city. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh. And there's one. It's a raid. Um, and to most people, like, even if you're driving on, you know, a road like this, people would say, oh, my God, that's got to be so dangerous. How would you drive on a road like that? And to me, it's like, how is this dangerous? Yeah, it's a two-lane road. I mean, people can crash into each other. Come on. And, you know, people just start... A lot. Most people aren't even used to harsh driving, I guess. So I wouldn't be surprised if most people don't even know what a jet engine brake is. Now, I've never driven a semi-truck, but I've driven in roads where even on my normal sedan, I've had to use the, the engine brake extensively. Um, we were in... Um, the Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park out in Colorado. Beautiful place. And um, there was a downhill section there. I think it was like 15% downhill gradient. On my car, you know, my car, I got a Mazda 6. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not tiny at all, but it's not that heavy either. And I was, I was doing it like second gear all the way down. That was tough. You just don't want to be burning up your brakes. Got that sign, topes a cien metros. These tend to be kind of huge, so you want to slow down a little bit. Or at least that's the realistic way to do it. I just like so much how it looks outside, it's great. It really does make me feel like if I'm in Mexico. We're not in Yekora yet, folks. Still got a bit to go. How's this? See, um, let's let's take a look at some of the comments because I've been kind of neglecting those. Um, let's see. Jesus Juarez, he said, "Do you think any day you could make the state of Hidalgo?" That is kind of far from where we're at, so not anytime soon, unfortunately. Está muy lejos Hidalgo de donde estamos trabajando por el momento, así que la verdad no lo esperes en ningún momento próximo, mínimo no de de, de nosotros. Hey, Roberto says, uh, we're going towards Yecora, right? Yes, we are. Vamos a Yecora. Pero de Yecora vamos a seguir a Pasasachi. Creo que lo, lo dije mal. I think I said that wrong. Hey, I, Roberto Lucha is asking me, what kind of music do I like? Great question. If I put the music that I like, I don't think most people... Well, I don't know if most people would really like it. I listen to a lot of progressive metal. Um, I think that's, if I have to pick a, a favorite genre, that'd probably have to be my favorite genre. Me gusta escuchar mucho el metal progresivo. I started a lo, uh, off with, with Dream Theater. Lately I've been listening to a lot of Varyon. Um I barely started getting into an art band called Spock's Beard. I love the name of the, of the band, that was great. 
Um, they, they, they're pretty good, but I barely started listening to them. Oh, there's an already app right there. What else? There, there's a lot of bands, but progressive metal is what I... Well, let's, let's overtake this guy. Let's just do it. And if anybody here listens to that kind of music, um, shout outs to you, man. Let me know what band I should listen to. Let's see, Sam B says, most dangerous I've been on is Salt River Canyon, US 60. Salt River Canyon. Um, where, where, is that in Colorado or Utah? Oh, approaching a little intersection here. Now, here's a little fun story. So this little intersection here, so I'm right here. This is supposed to connect with this road. So this one is supposed to go down here. In in Viva Mexico's version of the road, like it, it would connect somewhere down here, right? Um, and Eblem originally wanted to go ahead and do this before releasing, but I was like, hey, if we're gonna do, do, do monthly releases, why not just, you know, release it as is, give something to the folks so, you know, people could have fun, and just release that part for the next month. If you guys think that's not the right way we should be doing this, let me know. I think it's better, but, I mean, we could always delay the map if you want and, and us do that. I'm going to say that in Spanish because that's kind of important. Este, eh, originalmente, Eblem quería primero completar esta carretera que tiene que conectar aquí, donde estamos. Este... Pero yo le comenté que pues si queremos um, si queremos hacer la esta ¿cómo se dice? Si queremos lanzar cada mes, pues deberíamos ya lanzar el mapa, ¿no? Ya con lo que tenemos. Um, ¿qué, ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Deberíamos de, de esperarnos a, a terminar esta parte o ya lanzar el mapa? Este, sí me gustaría saber qué es lo que prefieren, ¿no? Okay, so we're back. We we got still quite a bit to go, but we're halfway between Hermosillo y Yecora. Oh, wrong thing. There we go, this way. Let me downshift real quick. Uh oh. Let me pay attention to this part because this one's a little, a little tricky. I really like these bridges on on turns like that. Let's see. Jose David, saludos. Welcome. Welcome. Let's see, Roberto Lucha says, ooh, he, metal is my favorite genre. Okay. Uh, Iron Maiden, uh, King Diamond, Cradle of Filth. Uh, is it fifth or filth? <laughs> Um, I've listened to Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden is... Oof, this is glitching out. Okay. Iron Maiden is great anytime. I don't listen to it too much. Um, so I might be missing some of their songs. But... But they're good. They're good. I don't like it when they start screaming way too much, though. I'm a little more... Um, what's the term people have told me? Um, melodic. So like melodic music, that kind of stuff. So a lot of the more crazy kinds of metal, no, not so much. It's odd, I don't even know what to say myself. Oh, no, this way. Let's see, Sam B says, Salt River Canyon is between Glove and Sholo, Arizona. Oh, I know which place you're talking about. I've never been there. Someday I will. It's not too far from where I'm at. Um, that's in... That's in, in ATS, actually. Now that I think about it. Now in... Um, I'm going to say, what is probably the most difficult part that I've driven? See, here's the thing. No paved road is more difficult than some of the stretches that I've driven that were not paved. 
and if i have to choose what was probably the most difficult road i've ever driven on um oh, i crashed there for reading the comments um i would have to say that it was back when i was like 14. my grandfather would kind of asked me to drive him to certain places and it was in the ranch and there's a lot of mountains around and dirt roads and yeah very adverse situations and a big hefty f-250 truck um that was tough and i was 14. he didn't care i i don't understand how he didn't care either and my dad said that he, it was just he was always so scared of driving himself that he didn't care if he died to the hands of a younger kid but, you know what? That just made me extremely resilient to driving in really adverse situations. So I'm really confident with my skills, I guess, thanks to that. So, besides that, probably the more difficult places to drive aren't even mountain roads. It's probably even just like driving in big cities in Mexico. Oaxaca. I had... No, Acapulco. I hated driving in Acapulco. Acapulco and Oaxaca were terrible. I haven't driven in Mexico City, I really want to, because they say it's terrible. <laughs> Guadalajara could get pretty bad sometimes, but I had a worse experience in Acapulco and, and, and Oaxaca. So much so that when I got back to Guadalajara, I felt Guadalajara was like like, the, like a day and night difference, really. Alex, welcome. Thank you very much for your kind comments. Roberto Lucha, ya, yeah, metal melódico. Ajá, exactamente. También me gustan otros géneros. Pero si tengo que escoger uno en específico, ese tendría que ser. Let's see. So Alonso says we should wait and add that connection. The thing about about it, Alonso, is since we were trying to move over to, you know, um, subscription model, I guess, instead of instead of like waiting a whole year to to um, and you you know you you pay for the map at that point, instead like just if as long as you you're subscribed, I guess is the word, um, you would get releases every month. That's why my thought was, hey, we should just release it as it is. Okay, let me see where the next... Okay. Um, I'm being asked to ch change it tonight. T sorry, today. But I'm going to wait till we get to this little rest stop here. And I'll do it. And we'll just sleep there. We'll run with these. Now, Sam B is asking if I've heard of Youngest Road, known as a death road in Bolivia. Yes, I have heard of it. I've seen videos of it. Never driven there. Never dri dri driven outside of Mexico or United States. Um, would I drive it? <sighs> Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if I had to, I would. But it... Jeez. Seems... Uh... Like, if it was just you, oh yeah, heck yeah. But the problem is, when you got unco oncoming traffic, and, um, and you know, you, you have to make space, and you're just, like, on the very edge of the sheer drop. Yeah, that's what's kind of not that nice. But if it weren't for oncoming traffic, oh yeah, heck yeah. I wouldn't care. I got dark way sooner than I thought it would. Let's see, am I gonna get there soon or not? No. Should I just make a day then? Probably. Okay, I can start seeing it in my GPS map. Let's drive a little bit like this. Let's see the experience at night.
That would make things different. Hey. Losing power there. This is a bit of a tough situation, so I'm not really reading comments right now, unfortunately. Oh, give me a second. Jeez, and now I'm hungry. All right, and the red. Oh, uh oh, I messed up with that thing. I forgot I had the the hat on. <laughs> okay, and this should be our little rest stop here. Or is it on the left? I think it's on the left, actually. Oh God. Maybe Evelyn should add one on the right side, too. There we go. Yeah, so it's just on the left side. So, see, good thing I actually did this. Otherwise, I would have never thought of that. That. There we go. All right. So, some of the comments, um, what do you think of the map SES? Well, I think we've talked about this a little bit too much. Um, it's got some really good things and it's got some, re some really bad things. Everybody knows the older areas of the map suck, but the newer areas are pretty good. Okay, and this thing's moving a little too much. tight here. Let's see, Roberto Lucha has a couple. No, I, I don't recognize any of those bands, to be honest. Uh, no, no reconozco ninguna de las bandas. Um, quizá tenemos simplemente gustos diferentes de, de rock o metal. Let's see, Sam B, I recently got into TS and... So... Here's a question, Sam B. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is tight. Nice. This reminds me a little bit of where my parents are from. A little, some mountain roads like this. So, Sam B, is ProBots already out for 1.37? Because I really wanted to play last weekend, and I was like, I feel it isn't. But I haven't checked. I played um, Project Japan last weekend, actually. That was fun. Um... I put the I, I, I put the shifter on the left side, so I was shifting with my left hand, and um, it was a little confusing at first, but I got the hang of it pretty fast. It's a oh, 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 well, you know what? There's just a pothole there. It's fine. It's a little fast, a little slow there. I got used to driving on the left hand pretty pretty quickly, and um, I think the only issue would for left hand driving at, for me at this point if I ever go to the left hand drive country would just be that I know that the windshield wipers and the blinkers they're on different sides so that might make it a little confusing but other than that it doesn't seem too difficult I got up the hang of it pretty fast it took me about 10 to 20 minutes though but but I was able to get to it so maybe before I go to Japan in real life I'll probably pop in Project Japan on ETS too. <laughs> Drive a little bit there and then fly out to Japan. <laughs> I do want to drive in Japan whenever I go. I, I, I really want to do that. My plan was to go in 2021. I really want to go. But, well, with, with the ongoing pandemic thing and all that stuff, well, who knows? It's tough out there. Look at how great the sky looks. Okay, so Pro Mods is out for 137. Okay, good. So then I'll have to play this weekend. I 
feel like playing. I haven't discovered nearly as much as I would have liked to. But yeah, it's really good. I enjoy it. The one that has never played it is Eminem. He says he doesn't really like ETS 2. Um, but I've insisted to him that, hey, well, Promont is pretty good. You should give it a try. So, he told me that if I ever do play it, I should show him a little bit. Probably get to that this weekend, maybe. It's Friday tomorrow. That's good news. And yeah, uh, Project Japan is pretty nice. Uh, I, I like the detailing in it. In some parts, though, it looks like they used o older ETS2 road textures, which just don't look that good. And some of them, like the exit ramps, don't even have shoulders. And in, in a lot of those spots in Japan in real life, they really do have shoulders. In inner city areas, it maybe don't. But in some of the other ones that I saw, like I even went to go compare the the, um, the interchanges in real life, and no, they they had shoulders. So I, I was a little bummed out about that. I don't know if it's because they're missing the right uh, networks, like like the ones we have in in ATS. But that is a little bit lacking. But other than that, I thought it was pretty good. Now approaching Yekora I should be down down there. And, and yes, uh, Project Japan is a standalone map. And, and yeah, I, I do. Oh, oh, hold on. Close. Yeah, I do agree that I would prefer a map that was, you know, um, with the stand with, with the standard map instead of a standalone. But I still think it's it's worth it to give Pro, um, Project Japan a, a try. I didn't play for too long though. I do think you would get bored of it kind of quickly. It's not that big, but it's still worth it. Give it a shot. You'll enjoy it. So London was rebuilt for Pomods. I didn't. I, I thought um, England wasn't really touched much in Pomods. So, uh, last time I played Pomods, I think it was for 1.35. So that'll just show you what you know. It's been a while. Oh no. Spanky Rodman, saludos, hermosillo. Sends greetings from Hermosillo, Sonora. We were just there. Oh no, this is going to be a bit of a tight turn. Yep, it was. So that's why we put those yellow signs, by the way. I was able to tell what we were up against. And I'm noticing there's no official speed limit here. Now, for the most part, on these mountain roads, it doesn't really matter too much, because in the end, the AI traffic will slow down or speed up depending on the, on the, the condition of the road, which is actually re very realistic. Uh, in real life, um, people don't tend to follow the, tr the, the speed limits in these kinds of roads. Welcome to Yekora. Uh, no, that's fine. Let's look around a little bit. How am I doing on gas? Oh, I've got way more gas than I need. I'm just 
looking around for bugs. All right, next couple of towns, here we go. So last time I streamed, uh, we had only completed up until Yekora. So now we got new roads to travel here. I had streamed in Spanish though, with Evelyn. So, well, okay, so uh, Julie Chen says that they think everything's been rebuilt except for Switzerland, Czechia, and Slovakia. Huh, I would have thought that Switzerland might have been rebuilt. Because Switzerland is still, like, part of the old base map of ETS2, isn't it? Well, not really base map, but, like, it's, it's kind of old school, isn't it? Oh yeah, if I were to play Pro Mods, I would definitely add the, pro the Middle East section. But you gotta add all of it. Now, I know you you could, there's also more maps. Like for example, I know there's the Roos map, right? Um, is that compatible with Pro Mods? And if so, is it is it any good? Or are there any other mods that work with, with Pro Mods that you guys would recommend? Is that compatible with ProMods though? Southern region is that another is that another map mod for ATS2? And Ignacio says, "Hey Raúl, do you know if a bus station will be rebuilt?" So the bus stations are part of another map mod um, that is. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! Oh! Fudge! Yes, fudge is a bad word now. Um, yeah, we'll just edit that out too. Don't worry about it, guys. So, I'm, I'm trying to read comments and I'm trying to not to crash. <laughs> it's not a coincidence that for the most part, um, we, um, we see that all streamers are bad drivers. No, it's not that they're bad drivers, it's just that you're trying to read comments and then things like that happen. <laughs> Clumsy, yeah, for sure. No, it's just hard to stream and drive. <laughs> now I see. <laughs> okay, what's up? Oh, what the crap? This thing is. Oh God, this my my, my track IR is. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. 
What's up, Clumsy? Hey, uh, I I don't know if I summoned you by driving like that, but um, what's up, man? <laughs> so, yeah, I was I was saying like when you're streaming and you're trying to read comments, it's it's not easy. So, I don't think it's that streamers are bad drivers. It's just it. It's just first world problems, guys. That's all it really is. And uh, Clumsy, yes, this is going to be the next extension of the Chihuahua map. Um, we are planning to release this in about a day or two, as long as everything goes well. But I think everything is going well so far. We we did find a bit of an issue with pass mod um, because of some traffic lights for some reason. Um, so we will probably be working that with um, with pass tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, uh, you guys could probably expect the release, um, maybe not tomorrow, but but by most on Saturday for sure. And right now, just to show, uh, let me before I crash. So just to show where we're at right now, uh, we started driving out here in Hermosillo, Sonora, and we're currently on our way towards Bocoina. Uh, this is in the in the Chihuahua area, and this is where all this new section um, connects down to what was already in the first beta version of Chihuahua. So um, that's where we're going. And if you want to hear how to pr how to um, pronounce these names, it's Hermosillo, Yecora, Basaseat. I don't even know how to pronounce that one either. Basaseachi or Basaseachi? Or Basaseachi? I don't... I, I don't... Where is Eblem? I thought he was going to be here. He was going to tell me how to say that. He says it right. Bocoina, Urique, Batopilas, Guachochi. Yeah, these are great names, right? What's what's probably the most hard one to say here? Let's, let's see. Because Clumsy, by the way, uh, and it's not just you, but every time I hear people streaming... Um, like I, I hear the way they they pronounce these Mexican names. I'm like I just I just laugh a little bit internally, but don't worry. If I if I go when I when I see the European map, whenever I play ETS2, it's the same story with me. I can't pronounce those names sometimes. Let's see which one is hard. Um, Tlaltenango, Aguascalientes. You'd call them the Hidrocálidos if you want. Um, no, probably the ones over here are probably the most difficult ones. I, I'm gonna go with Basaseachi. As probably the more difficult ones. Um, wait till we get to the state of Michoacan, which is this one right here. This one has some really interesting names. Um, but anyway, let's let's keep driving. They're not they're not better than one of my favorite tongue twisters. So I, I remember um, when I I studied Japanese a while back and. Um, when they were teach the way to uh, pronounce that, like, you know, you must... Oh, there's a bug right there. A gap in the rock. Uh, when they would teach how to um, pronounce words, um, you know, in, there's a form to say, like, oh, you must do this. Uh, it's a little difficult. Uh, it's a bit of a... Not really much of a tongue twister, but it's just... More complicated than it sounds like it should be. So, for example, um, if I say the word, uh, I don't know, shimas, which shimas means to make, I think it was, or to do. No, to do, my bad, to do. Uh, make is different. So, if it's like, you have to do this. You'd have to say something like, um, suru nakereba narimasen, which is long. But the one I really like, and I say it a lot with, with some of the people that I know that also know what I'm saying, is when you say, oh, I gotta go work. Right? Oh, I'm a co-worker, so I gotta go work. That's such a tongue twister, and I've gotten so used to saying that it's so, so fast. There's so many words like that in Japanese, or like phrases in Japanese, that are, that are, are like, just roll off your tongue. And it reminds me of some of the names in Michoacan. Like, Parentiquat something, I think one of them is. I, I don't I don't remember. There's some really weird ones in Michoacan. You'll see those eventually. A 
I'll have to I have to download the Romania map then, Julie. What I'm I, I'm being recommended that too, so definitely. The oh the Aztec names as well. Yeah, so there's one for example. Um, so Mexico City in, is surrounded by. Ooh, that is a bad gap right there. See, I'm glad we're driving this. So Mexico City is pronounced. Sorry, is surrounded by quite a couple of tall mountains. And Mexico City, as it's as it is, is a very high city. And, and by high, I mean high in elevation. Please, uh, don't get the wrong idea. And um, so one of the the taller mountains. It's a it's a volcano. It's an active volcano. It's called Volcan. Popocatépetl. I'm not. I'm, that's not a joke. That's how you pronounce it. Popocatépetl. The first time I remember seeing when I was first, you know, learning about these kinds of places, it, that was hard to pronounce. There's another one called Itzlasiwatl. Let's see what other one? Um, I don't remember anymore. But yeah, that's kind of some of the weird Aztec or I don't. I don't know if they're Aztec what, but they're. Or something like that. Forgive me. Yeah, for real, clumsy. They're, they're, that's fun names. Fun names. But that's just what you get when um. What what sounds like a Jake break? <laughs> if Sam says when I fl play flight, Sam is difficult for me to land. I imagine it's 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 got its complexities to land in Mexico City because of the mountains, right? Because it's surrounded by by a pretty deep valley, and the mountains themselves are all like four thousand meters high. Four thousand meters. That's um twelve thousand feet. Yeah, something like that. Um, and Mexico City itself is like twenty five hundred meters, I think. I, I think I want to say that. No, it's more like two thousand. 2,500 meters is Toluca, which is... Uh-oh, oh, oh, there goes my track IR. It glitches out sometimes. Anybody here that drives with, with track IR, I, I, I know Clumsy does, but th does it tend to glitch out on you guys sometimes? I'm just using the clip the, the, the clip thing that goes with the little hat. Um, it, it, lately, it sometimes glitches out like that. It'll just start going other places. And right now that you mentioned flight sim, now I've never played a, height, a flight sim before, but I, I admit that I would be really interested in playing um, the new Mi Microsoft simulator that's coming out. And I haven't, I know they haven't set an actual date, or at least not that I remember reading into, but it looks really sweet. I don't have any of the stuff to be able to fly a plane. I don't know if I could drive, fly a plane with a steering wheel. Can I? That'd be great. Imagine that. Sounds like fun. I don't know. You think it'd be better to drive uh, to, to fly the fly a plane with the steering wheel than with the normal control? Okay. I I've been talking for quite a bit, and I haven't noticed if we've gone over to the state of Chihuahua, but I think we haven't. The road. Like the, the road quality changes when we get to Chihuahua, so I don't think we're there. And oh boy, this guy's going slow. Oh, I should have just overtaken him. Oh. No, we're about to reach the Chihuahua um, border here. I put those signs up. There it is. Bienvenidos a Chihuahua. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna stop here for a little bit because I think I, I saw something. Now, it's no no uh, secret. That Evelyn does the great majority of the work. Um, I mostly do road signs, 
But I hadn't noticed he did this. Chihuahua y Sonora Estados Solidarios en Comunicaciones y Transportes. That's interesting. How did he do that? Oh, I think I know how he did it. Okay. That's interesting. So it's in English it says um, Chihuahua and Sonora states um, s states in unity through communications and transport, I guess is the right word. Um, anyway. Yeah, that probably was built um, back in the 60s, which is when they built this road. And those those old er, early federal routes that they would build in Mexico would always have some kind of huge plaque somewhere like that. All right, let's go. So let me see what Clumsy says. So track AR bugs out sometimes. Oh, because of when. Okay, that makes sense. So I have a fan right next to me, and that may be screwing with the track AR. Okay, so it's good to hear somebody else has that, and that kind of confirms a suspicion that I had. It's, um, it's hot here. It's Arizona. Uh, Sam B uses a joystick to play ATS. Well, by joystick, do you mean, like, the, a normal remote, or do you mean, like, the joystick from, like, a flight sim? Julie Chen uses a keyboard. Evelyn uses a keyboard. He So he has a steering wheel. But since whenever he drives, he's just searching for bugs. So he says it's just easier for him to just play with the steering wheel. Sorry, with the keyboard. I I, I don't like it. I'm sorry. If I, I have the steering wheel. It's like, you know what? I should use it. <laughs> it wasn't that cheap. Oh, I did buy it used, though, I'd admit. Sam B says, I played FSX for 11 years, so I'm excited for the new flight simulator. It looks amazing, man, and I really want to try it out. I've never played a flight simulator, but I do want to try this out. I got, I think I got the computer for it, too, so we got to enjoy it. For many years, I never had money for a good computer. Now I do. Now I should use it. Unless I, at least I'm not like my sister that just using that is just using her RTX 2070. No, sorry, she has a 2060. That is just using an RTX 2070 to play Minecraft. E burn. That's a lot of damage. It'd be great if she listened to me. Let's see, Spanky says, Raúl conoces Sonora? Do I know Sonora? Yes, I do. Sí, si lo conozco. Um, I have driven through the, the um, Federal Route 15 um, from um, from Nogales all the way down to, um, well, down all the way to Guadalajara. So you pass through uh, Nogales, Hermosillo, Guaymas, uh, Ciudad Obregón, and Navajoa. All right, dude, come on, speed up. Well, if you're not speeding up, I'm speeding up. Oh boy. Crisis averted. This little section here of the road, I should slow down a little bit. This little section of the road reminds me a lot of Yosemite National Park. Now, it, it's amazing. Like a couple days ago when I, a conversation that I had with Evelyn, he's like, now I feel what I did with um, with Yosemite is just nowhere near as good as what I just did in Chihuahua, he said. Like, Yosemite already is obsolete compared to what Eblem could do now. Then again, when Yosemite was started, um, SCS hadn't yet released Utah, and with Utah they released a lot of really cool rock formations. So that's also part of why, you know, you can do some much cooler things now. low area for you to be able to park and have some Z's. And for those of you with a keen eye, we now have brand new um, 
uh, guardrail models. Mexico, it's common to see in some spots those black and white guardrails. Uh, we've been received a lot of help from Stephanie, um, which uh, has been making a ton of new models for, for, for the map, and she's just been incredible. So I don't think she's watching this, maybe, or maybe she is, who knows. But if you are, Stephanie, again, shout outs to you. Muchas, muchas gracias. <laughs> says MB says a joystick for ATS works. I can't believe how that works. Well, let me rephrase that. I I could believe how it, that it works. I just find it odd. that that'd be interesting to try out. To drive a truck with a joystick. That's got to be experience. But hey, it's probably better than playing with a keyboard. Maybe I don't know. I find that you know you can play with a keyboard, but if anything, at least oh here it goes glitching out again. But at least, at least a remote. Back when I was first playing ATS and I didn't really have money to buy things like that, I bought a cheapo um, Chinese knockoff of a um, Xbox controller. It was like 20 bucks and it worked and it was good enough for me. Then when I moved to Arizona, fortunately had a you know, better paying job, you know, better everything, and just been able to upgrade here and there. Yeah, check out these mountains. Thank you very much for the comments, Daniel. I'm not sure if Eblem is here with us right now. I thought he would be. Um, but he is the one that deserves credits for all of this. It's amazing. Yeah, this is a long, long mountain stretch, but it's not, like, it's not as crazy complicated as some of the other spots uh, in, in the Mexico map. Like, um, the first parts that are in the Chihuahua area that are mountainous, um, those are much more complicated. And this isn't that bad. You could actually go at a pretty decent speed. So this is actually enjoyable. This is really enjoyable. Ooh, there's a gap. Uh, Clum says, so good, can't wait to drive here, have to go now. No worries, man, thank you for dropping by, and thank you so much for for, for enjoying our maps and uh, really showcasing them out there. It's It means a lot to us, and mostly Evelyn, that's, he's the one that really works on this. Uh, you know, it's it's his, it, it, this is his, his, his job, pretty much. Um, he's been able to uh, do this full time and just give so much quality content, I guess. So definitely, uh, uh, I, I thank you guys so much for for um, for helping him out. Uh, oh, I don't want to flip over here. Got it. Okay, I think we're up, we're approaching now. Um, oh, what's this? I put the sign. Oh, no, no, Evelyn put this sign. Okay, yeah, we are approaching the next town, the town of Basasachi. It's probably like another um, a little uh, drop-off you can take over there. Basasachi discovered. So here you get to see the new traffic lights in action. These are real Mexican traffic lights. Um, the designer favorito, bienvenido, bienvenido al stream. Got there, the gas station. See, Sam B says, I use the throttle for gas, pull the stick backward for brake, reverse it. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome.
Iván, saludos oh. Saludos Iván, bienvenido Alejandro Neira nos, ve, nos vemos Raúl, me voy a descansar No te preocupes Alejandro, gracias por Por, por el apoyo All right, and here, here is something interesting. So, if you go straight, oh, well, to, there it is. Okay, so if you go straight, you get to Chihuahua, and in this case, so we haven't quite done this. Um, well, this isn't supposed to be complete. This is just what's going to come sooner than later. But you can't really go past this little part quite yet. But this is the route that's going to continue on to, to Chihuahua. Which Chihuahua is supposed to be around here. And this is where Ciudad... No, like around here. This is where Ciudad Cuauhtémoc is supposed to be. So for now, really, the only connection that you could do is... Um, we could go down this road to Bocoina, which will connect to the existing parts of the first beta of Chihuahua. So let's do that, and I think once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and end the stream there. You know what though? Let's let's do a little bit of a detour here. I'm sure there's gonna be guys that are gonna like this spot. And Timothy, yeah, thank you, thanks so much. Uh, the the Oxo the Oxo prefab was done by um by Eblem a long time ago. I mean the 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 building itself was done was done by Eblem, but really just fixing it up in in the in the map editor, you can do so much with it. So we're going to take a little bit of a detour here. This is to the um, Basasachi Waterfall. So this is a major tourist point here in real life. Oh, commercial trucking is prohibited. You have to turn around and go back. Screw you. That's a big one. Quick little detour, guys. But you'll like it, I'm sure. I just want to make it before before uh, nightfall. Oh, bad feeling about this. Oh no, I made it. Okay. All right, slow down, slow down. Check the view out. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, I think there's a better spot over here, but we'll get there in a bit. So this is part of Las Barrancas del Cobre, which is um, Mexico's answer to the Grand Canyon, basically. Sam B says, how did you get the new traffic lights? Um, so Stephanie helped us out with the models and um, Evelyn set those up in, in the in the editor and it was just like that. So they are custom models for sure. Okay, and the parking lot is over here. Oh wow, I didn't see him. all the people taking selfies because nobody cares about the landscape they just want to take pictures of themselves there to show off to their friends okay so let's um, let's walk a little bit guys yeah we're just, just pretend we're walking and there she is in all of the glory so that is the waterfall of Basa Sechi. now you could say you have been there and tell all your friends yeah, they're all holding their, their selfie sticks. Pretty neat, huh? Let's cheat a little bit. Oh yeah, this bridge does exist there in real life. It, and if you zoom in, it doesn't look any good. 
But where's the truck? Ah, there it is. And then you go over here and it's like, oh yeah, there's a lot of weird things. But hey, it works. It's good stuff. And this is one of the major tourist attractions of this area in real life. Okay. I just turned it from, uh, because now it's morning. Maybe I should have made it 8 o'clock. There we go, that's a little better. We don't got a lot more to, to travel, so we're good. Thanks for all the uh, positive comments, by, by the way. Glad you guys like it. I think that spot could easily be... I'm just going to run this over here. We go. I think that spot could easily be probably the most impressive looking spot landscape-wise in the game so far. Everybody talks great about Sierra Nevada, but I think that spot is probably better. Alright, let's get back on track. Alright, back on the road. Spanky, ganas de volver a las barrancas del cobre. Yo nunca he ido. Tengo, tengo muchas, muchas ganas de ir algún día. Uh, Daniel Dressel says, Did Eblem ever figure out a way to stop the mountains from popping in? Um, now, if you're talking about the mountains that are far away popping in, he did end up finding a way to maybe reduce that a little bit, but they still do, and it's just because of a... Um, a, it's a limitation in the game itself. It's hard coded into the game. Uh, the the longest render distance in the game is a is a kilometer and a half, or one or 1,500 meters. It really isn't that much. Ooh, this spot's a little tricky. Now I tested the traffic in this earlier, uh, just to make sure that the traffic does drive over that well, and it does. Oh, wrong gear. Oswaldo dice, ¿Qué tal mod de gráficos tienes? Uh, he's asking for the graphics mod. I got Project... I think it's called Project USA? No, I, I don't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, te voy a quedar mal. No me acuerdo cómo se llama, la verdad. Alguien quizá me lo vaya a decir y yo no me acuerde. Project Next Gen. I don't know why I thought it... Oh, this thing's glitching out again. There we go. Yeah, Project Next Gen. I remember it says Next Gen in, like, the the American flag color. So I don't know. Uh, that may be why I thought it said USA. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, we're just going to overtake this guy right here. Quickly, though. We got one more little downhill section. Yeah, Timothy says he likes what they, what SES did with Mount St. Helens. That is very cool looking. It's probably one of the better examples of how to get the most out of the game engine, it, uh, considering its its um, render distance limitations. So it is really cool. I just think what Eblem did in the Cascada de Masasachi is more impressive looking. Not because of the work he did, but because in real life it's more impressive than Mount St. Helens. I don't know, that's just my opinion of it. Let me 
Miguel, come ask, have you ever tried doing a state on your own? No, nunca he hecho un estado por mi cuenta. Eh, no creas que soy tan bueno para hacer este tipo de cosas. Ah, oh, there goes that thing again. Uh, no creas que soy muy bueno para, para hacer eso. Yo más bien le ayudo a Blem con los detallitos. Los, la señala, el señalamiento es, lo, es mi fuerte. El señalamiento, el tronque, es ese tipo de cosas. Todas todo las señales de aquí yo las puse, por ejemplo. O bueno, la mayoría. Why is this Camaro going slower than what I want to go? Come on now. Oh, well, it's because it's doing 60 kilometers an hour. And I want to get there, to be honest. This isn't too long of a stretch, we're almost there. Check out some more comments. I said quite, quite a little bit there. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, Miguel asked if I know how to make models. No, I don't. Um, Spokane says that it's more impressive in real life for that, which I know it is. <laughs> but that this is still a stupendous job. Thank you so much for the comments, Spokane. I, and I agree. No, nada le gana en la vida real. Lincoln Navigator, I don't know. Same thing, I guess. Sam B says, I hope SES pushes the game engine for Colorado. You know, oh, that's what happens for me to for reading comments. You know what, Sam B? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I do not have that such, you know, such high expectations. For Colorado, they'll decorate everything amazingly well. It's gonna look beautiful, but I just never see they put that much effort when it comes to elevation changes. And if Colorado left me any impression, is that its mountains and elevation changes on the road are what really make it. Oh, there goes that thing again. Are what really make driving in Colorado a special thing. I loved driving through um, through Colorado, and um, I, I I did I forget the the routes the actual route numbers of what where we drove, but I did the Million Dollar Highway. Um, it make, I don't remember the name of that one pass. I did a lot of mountain passes, but I also did I seventy. And I-70, I think, was my favorite part of it. Now, Evelyn might scoff at that. He'll say, no, well, it's beautiful, but, but the, the, you know, the, the U.S. routes are better. Yeah, landscape-wise, they are. But if you like driving, I felt I-70 was a blast to drive. It's a fast, I mean, it's a freeway. You're going fast. But there's a lot of curves and ups and downs, and I don't know, it's it's a thrilling ride, in my opinion. Similar to I-80 in um, across the Sierra Nevada. So we did the Sierra Nevada map, and then a couple months after we released it, um, I went to, to Lake Tahoe in that area in real life. And um, it is a blast to drive. It's amazing. I loved it. I would go again to Lake Tahoe just to drive I-80. But I'm crazy like that. I like driving. I enjoy it. Uh, oh. Oof. My bad. Uh, welcome to um, San Juanito. 
In the map, it'll say Bo Bocoina. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Oops. Okay, hold on. Oh, too much. Okay, guy. Go. So I could do my, um, my crazy U-turn here. Here we go. Yeah, I passed the road. Okay. So here, this city was already made for, um, for the Beta 1. So you really aren't seeing anything new here. We just connected it there. So that's good. And it's this way. Yeah, the railroad here is pretty cool. Um, so there is a tourist railroad here that takes you through all of the, the touristy national park areas and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice place. Okay, and there we are. Press enter. And guys, we're going to just drop it off here and just leave it at that. Um, yes, I am late. Love it. Look at all that EXP. And, uh, let's see. And there, there you have it. So, that was Hermosillo to Bocoina. Fortunately, I didn't really see that many bu bugs. But to be honest, I think you guys are better at that than I am. And then again, I'm also, like, talking with you guys. I'm sure a lot of people really enjoy, you know, watching what's going on or just having a chat. And I enjoy having a chat with you guys as well. Um, beats the soul-crushing solidarity. Sorry, sol solitude that we have here during the, the the COVID days, right? I'm I'm totally faring okay. I'm not sad or anything. It's all it's all good. But uh, but anyway, so uh, just because I noticed that um Timothy was interested in uh, oh wrong thing was interested in the railroads there, um and because his name says railroading fan, here we'll show him some railroads. Ah, there it is. Ah. Okay. So this was the railroad um, crossing that you saw there. Yeah, I like it. It's one of the better ones in the Mexico map, to be honest. Oh, that. So. <laughs> oh. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, no, no. F11. No. Como, como lo pongo? Train go appears out of thin air. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching tonight. Um, stay tuned. We will probably be releasing either tomorrow or at most by Saturday. Um, and um, if you guys have any questions, you know where to find us on our Discord. And or if you saw something on here that you think is wrong and you know better, please let us know as well. We're always open for, for, for input. All right? Take care, guys. Have a good night.